Hi there, welcome back to another video from us here at Lottie Jasmine Designs. So today we're going to use Hydroflow and we're going to do another terrazzo style pot or pots. So here we go, we've got it mixed up ready. It's the consistency of double cream, pouring double cream I'd say. So don't forget your uh, powder to liquid ratio. Powder needs to be two and a half times the volume of the liquid that you use. So we're just adding in the pink terrazzo and coral pink terrazzo pieces that I have. This is from a previous pour where we did the pink and coral layered pots. And all I've done is the leftovers put on a silicon mat to completely cure. And then once dried, you break them all up, quite easy to do. So as you can see there off the le on the left, those are the pots I'm talking about. We're going to do a big pot. We can hopefully have enough to do a big pot and maybe some small ones as well. Uh, so this pot was, this pot mould was from Amazon. And there we go, we're just going to try and pour it in, try not to be messy. Although very easy for me to be messy with this stuff. So there we go, we're just pouring it in and it's going down the sides of the mould on the inside. And yeah, there we go, almost done there. So that should be enough for this mould. Uh, which it was. We were just going around the edge of it now with a micro brush or you could use a uh, um, lollipop stick and or a popsicle stick and just trying to encourage it not to have any air pockets or air bubbles. We've also filled up the little um, green mould there which makes the love these lovely mini pots and you're just tapping like crazy on the sides of the moulds. We're doing this with the grey moulds we will also do it off camera with the green moulds so it's a case of agitating tapping you can pick it up and drop it a little bit and here we go with the green mould uh, obviously this is sped up i don't normally tap and squish something quite this quickly uh, but yet yeah, you need i can't emphasize as i say again you really really need to do this quite a lot do it i would say to the point where you can see the product almost starting to set in the moulds then you know you've you've almost you you'll be a hundred percent certain that you've got as much of the air bubbles and pockets out and released as possible. So just cleaning up the mold there a little bit, trying to be tidy, trying to. So there we go. You've got the large round mold and the three smaller molds. One last little squidge there. Just popping a few of the air bubbles that have come to the surface with the micro brush. Oh look, and a bit more tapping because I'm still not quite happy. There we go. And this is 40 minutes later, which is the curing time for this product. They're completely solid. We're not going to have any disappointments with demolding early with this. And uh, yeah, the what I haven't said is that the big round pot in the grey mold has got something in it. It's in something which helps it stabilise the mould whilst it's curing. Remember to remove that before you try and take it out of the mould. But the quite easy then to take this uh, pot from the mould. And as you can see there, you've got the white hydroflow background with little bits of the different shades of pinks and corals showing through. That was the terrazzo pieces that we added to the product. This mould is looking a little bit it's got a bit of moisturiser on, moisture on it, even not moisturiser, sorry. Um, and that's just because it, they tend to sweat a little bit in the mould. They will completely dry out over 24 hours on a cooling rack. We tend to use cake cooling racks to do this. So just inspecting it now to see where there's some air, little air pockets. You can see there's a little one there at the top around the rim. There are going to be some on the bottom, but that can all be addressed with a bit of light sanding, which we'll show you later on in the video. So here we are demoulding the little green pots. I love these pots absolutely adore these pots um, you can put all kinds of little bits and bobs in them or if you're particularly green th thumbed or fingered when it comes to keeping plants they work great with little mini cactus plants in or little mini succulent plants so as you can see there yeah we're just inspecting to see what we need to repair 
if the pot is going to be okay or not, what the effect has been like with the terrazzo on the outside. Of course, it's completely up to you if you then decide you want to sand these. Uh, you can just leave them, but obviously if you're going to use them for something that they need to be waterproof, do make sure that you spray coat them with whatever the manufacturer recommends as a waterproof sealant. So there we have the three little round or hexagon shaped pots and the much bigger round pot. We're going to sand down the bottom so they're nice and smooth as well. You've got the option of putting uh, a base, a further base onto it for whatever you prefer using, but I'm not sure that we will. Here's the uh, wet and dry sandpaper that I'm going to use. This was purchased from a shop called The Range, which we have in the UK. Uh, there's 10 sheets of it in this one of assorted grit levels. So this one, if you can see, I'm trying to add water to it, which it looks like it's just all running off of it at this point. But we're sanding away there, so added the water and then just sand and sand in one direction and I'm go doing more up and down rather than side to side because that's the way this pot naturally appears to me. Apologies for the dog barking there. Um, so yeah, so there we are. We're just sanding away here and it's starting to reveal more of the colour of the terrazzo pieces. Obviously, if you don't feel like this particular level of grit of paper is working for you then uh, make sure that you go with a different level of grit one that's a bit more abrasive um, but obviously if you're going to do that you then need to cut back down again to the um, to the uh, finer grit just to get a nice smooth finish once you're completely happy with your sanding as I said before you do need to then let it dry completely overnight and then go in the following day with the waterproof sealant uh, we purchased the water through sealant from the manufacturer that the uh, product was from, which was Elichem. So there we go, just uh, going to give it another sand. We did every side of this pot and also the bottom. That's it, I'm just sanding a wee bit more there. This is in normal time, this one's not sped up. And we're just cleaning it off now, just, I think this was with a dry wet wipe. Uh, just to see whether or not it's the is it showing up enough for me obviously the more you add of the terrazzo pieces the more of an intense effect you will get with your end uh, piece uh, project so there we are just a big comparison these pots will be available to purchase in the next few weeks uh, from our online shop. Full details will be following soon uh, so there we have here lovely project easy to do uh, hopefully you won't get as messy as I seem to get when using this type of uh, medium. But looking really quite beautiful. Thanks once again for tuning in. Here's a little close-up shot of the final pots. And uh, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hit that notification button or bell. And we'll see you again in the near future for another video. Take care everyone. Goodbye.